So I want an easy way to have different pages on my website be authenticated or require the user to be logged in. So I made a higher order component that makes it easy so I can pick whichever routes that I want to be authenticated and prevent certain users from accessing it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you that higher order component that I made and how it works. Now, before I do a quick announcement, I'm no longer going to be putting the Twitch VODs on my main channel. I created a second channel that I'm basically gonna to use to archive all the Twitch streams. Um, I wanna keep the shorter, I wanna keep basically the longer videos off my main channel and keep more shorter 10 minute-ish long videos on my main channel. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into the component that I'm talking about. So I named it with off. Um, and basically it is a higher order component. Now it may look like there's a lot going on here, but it's actually pretty simple. So let me just close this. So if we remove this part right here, this is what a simple higher order component would look like in, uh, if we just get rid of that, in TypeScript. So what we did here is we have a function. Now we're using a generic because we're using TypeScript, but you can ignore this if you're using JavaScript, this part right here. Um, but basically we have a component here. It took me a little bit to figure out how to get the types all happy with each other, but I'm using a component class here. So basically we're gonna pass a component as the parameter. And this looks like, this is what the usage looks like. So the pick repo page is what I wanna use it on. And basically I say export default with auth and I pass in my component. And now my component is authenticated. And this is just a page in my folder with Next.js. So that's how it was a route. Um, and so what it does is it takes that component. It's going to return a new component here. And this new component, all it does is render the component that's passed in, right? So it's just going to take the pick repo component and it's going to render it. Now the part to make this actually check whether the user is authenticated is this part right here. So it's called get initial props. This is a Next.js thing, and this is where it runs before this component basically gets rendered. Um, if it's first time being loaded, it's gonna be run on the server. If it's already been loaded and you're just navigating to this page, it's gonna be run on the client side, but either way it gets run before it's rendered. Um, so I'm using GraphQL, but the same approach can be used if you're not using GraphQL, and it doesn't really matter. So basically one of the things that I'm using uh, in my props or basically that I have access to with this function is the Apollo client that I've already set up. Now if you don't have Apollo client set up already and, and you're using GraphQL, I recommend taking a look at this example with Next.js called with Apollo Auth. I'll link it below and that's how you can kind of set up your project to be able to access the Apollo client uh, through the props here. Um, and then if you're not using GraphQL, it gets even easier. All you do is you just call fetch um, and you call your API here or, or however you want it to. And so what I'm doing is I'm accessing the Apollo client and I'm just querying the user. So here I, I called that query the me query um, and then I'm getting the response. And then here I'm just checking and I'm like, all right, did we get a user back? And if we got a user back, that means uh, it should be me should be defined. So if none of these are true, so if either we didn't get a response back for some reason, we didn't get data, or we didn't get a user, these are all bad things. So we're going to redirect the user. So here's the redirect function that I have. Uh, so this is a Next.js redirect. We can look at that real quick. All it does is it takes the context, the context just being all the things that we get in the parameters here. Um, and if we're on the, basically it just checks if we're on the server, it does this uh, right head. And this is taken directly from the Next.js example. Otherwise it uses this router to replace uh, where we want to go. Um, and yeah, so we just redirect it to that page there and then we're going to return null. All right. Otherwise we did get a user back, we're happy, um, and we can actually return that user and pass it through the props. And now we have access to the user through the props. I called it me, you could call it user, whatever you want. So what this looks like in action is now when I load pick repo, I'm currently logged in here, so nothing happens, nothing's different. Um, but now if I try accessing pick repo, you'll notice 
it actually just has me go directly here. Like you can't even see it change. Um, so it, it'll, it'll, it'll be able to see a little bit more if we do it on a different page. Let's see if a new page will load. Uh, it doesn't look like it's loading actually. Yeah, all right, we crashed it. That's probably a different unrelated bug. Oh, interesting, kind of messed up my sidebar. Or not my sidebar, but my header here. And now that's, there we go. Anyway, so I'm now redirecting the user. You could also have a pop-up that pops up. You can do whatever you want, but the gist of it is you basically have an if statement and you can just do a different condition for what you want. And so that's what my with auth higher order component looks like. And now it's very easy for me to add this to any page that I want. I just call with auth, pass in the component that I want and this code will get run before it renders that component.